I just hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm giving away a free X-Max RC car to one of my lucky viewers. Listen to all the details in this video so you can figure out how you might win that X-Max RC car. Let's go do it. Hey everybody, welcome to Yeah Buddy. In this video, I'm gonna describe six things that you can do to monetize your channel. Let's go do it. Number one, you can experiment with your content. Yes, experiment with your content. And you can fail early and you can fail often, just like I did. What I mean by that is the first videos that I released were all about roller coasters. I loved riding roller coasters with my kids, but riding roller coasters with my kids did not turn into many views. All those roller coaster videos that I released probably hit 100,000 at most, right? And the problem here was there's just too much competition in the roller coaster space and, pro and my content was not as high quality as others and my thumbnails weren't great, right? A bunch of these things that I learned along the lines. But what I did is I didn't take all these roller coaster views and go, man, my roller coaster channel stinks. No, I released another video and this video was all about uh, how to install an easy pass in your car. And I got the idea because I tried to look it up and realized there weren't any other good videos on how to install an easy pass in your car. And it seems pretty self-explanatory. So I just took a quick three minute cut of me handy camming it, sticking the uh, easy pass up on the windshield while I'm filming and uploaded it to YouTube. One year later, I've got close to 60,000 views on that video. And by the time you watch this, I'm assuming it's gonna be above that. Number two, the second way that you can monetize your channel, and by this I mean you can get your subscribers up, is by responding to each and every comment left by one of your viewers. Try to respond to their question with more than just thank you. Respond to it with an answer to their solution or hey, how was your day? Get a conversation going and engage with them. And then after you've engaged with them, maybe ask them to subscribe or ask them to subscribe up front. I know a lot of YouTubers just try to say that in the video, but I found nine times out of 10, if you ask your commenter, your viewer that commented on your video to subscribe, they generally do subscribe. So it's a pretty big win ratio compared to just saying, hey, subscribe to my channel and like it and all that kind of stuff. So engage with your audience and they'll probably subscribe to your channel. The third thing that you can do to monetize your channel is to cross pollinate your content on other social media platforms. The platforms that I've been using throughout the last year are Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And TikTok is pretty experimental with me so far. Haven't found a lot of success there, but really my social media strategy for all those different platforms is to draw viewers into my YouTube channel and convert them into subscribers. Each social media platform is gonna be a little bit different how you interact with that. I'm sure there's specific ways that you can run your strategy for how your video is. Feel free to comment in the section below if you have any questions about how the social media strategy works for those different platforms. The fourth thing that I did and that you can do to always improve on your content and to monetize your channel is to just improve your thumbnails. It seems like something that's it's so easy to do and a lot of people forget about it, but also don't forget the thumbnail is the first thing that your viewer is going to see about your channel. That's right, your channel. They're probably never going to have seen your channel before until they see that thumbnail. So in the brief millisecond that they're scrolling through their phone, how are they gonna choose your video over somebody else's video? And that's by making a really high quality appealing thumbnail. And there's a million videos out there on how to improve your thumbnail, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail today. Thumbnails are going to improve your click-through rates, which are going to improve your views and your conversion rates to subscribers. Thus, getting your 4,000 watch hours up and getting you up to 1,000 subscribers. So go out there and improve your thumbnails. Okay, I promised you that I would describe the details for how you can win that X-Max. My son wants me to mention to you that if this video reaches 50,000 viewers, he's gonna get an X-Max. But if it reaches 100,000 views, then I am going to give an X-Max away to one lucky viewer. And how you can do that is by doing this. Go down to the comment section in this video and just type in there, X-Max, yeah buddy, I subscribed. That's it. You'll be entered into a chance to win that X-Max should this video reach 100,000 views. 
And what I'm gonna do is grab one of my subscribers and I'm just gonna do a random number generator to randomly select one of those folks. So hold me accountable. Once this video reaches 100,000 views, I am giving away an X-Max RC car. Number five, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. And what I mean by that, and this is somewhat counterintuitive to what I just described, is don't try to get the perfect video, the perfect editing, the perfect sound, the perfect lighting, the perfect everything in, uh, in effort to produce a video or whatever else you're gonna put out there. Just get it out there. Get the content out there because nothing's ever gonna be perfect. I, some of my most successful videos, I've got all sorts of like flaws in them, lighting flaws, word stumbles and stuff like that. So don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Just get the content out there so that people can watch your videos. Number six, and this one is really important, is just create more content. Think about it this way. If you have one video out there, you've got one bite at the apple to get a subscriber, to get a viewer, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, if you've got 10 videos out there, you have 10 chances. Think about it as like, you know, if you want your video to go viral, it's like buying a lottery ticket. So if you're buying one lottery ticket, you're probably not gonna have that viral video. But if you buy 10 lottery tickets or 100 lottery tickets, and eventually as you build out your pipeline of video, you've got that much more of a chance that something's either gonna go viral, or at least if they're not going viral, that they just slowly start to add up and build and build and build. Unless you're, build, unless you're creating content that goes stale overnight, it's gonna continue to build that pipeline. It's gonna be adding one brick on the house at a time until you eventually reach those 4,000 watch hours. So that was the six things that you can do to monetize your channel. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, or if you hated this video, let me know. Anyway, hope you all are having a great day and you have much success in your YouTube endeavors. Yeah, buddy.